My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Fallout 2. Okay, NPC still crippled. How do I fix you, dog? Like, should I just roll first aid? No, not first aid, sorry. Should I just roll doctor until it works? It seems unlikely. You failed to heal the crippled left or crippled right. Okay, so he's crippled, like, double. Like... I'm surely just gonna fail at this every single time. You heal the crippled right arm. And I got 50 experience for honing my skills. Okay, so it turns out I can actually heal the crippled self with my 15% doctor skill. Okay, let's continue then. Has one fewer crippled arms right now. I love how I can see the transition of day to night in the world, so people are just looking out their windows and they're just seeing me constantly try and doctor my dog. For days on end, maybe. Depends. So what do we want to do as soon as we've gotten this guy all doctored and patched up? Well, my first port of call is probably going to be trying to find out where Kyle, Lyle, Eric, John, Tim, fuck, whatever his name is. The kid that was you know, at the farm that ran off. He went to the northwest of the farm, if I remember correctly. Oh, you heal the crippled left arm. Excellent. Done. All the cripples are gone. I am the best man of all time. Now, second inventory slot. Let's put a healing item in there so that in case I'm in battle and require immediate assistance in terms of health, I can find myself some of that. Hang on. What are we doing here? I've got to start the clock for the episode. Otherwise, this episode is going to run over, you know, 50, 60, 70 minutes, hours, days. I don't know. I have no perception of time when I'm having fun. Okay. I'm just glad that I can, with a 15%, just constantly doctor my pets. Okay. South East. So, no, northwest is the way that he went, which was up there, right? Fuck it, I'm gonna go to Ghost Farm and I'm gonna ask them again. Some moonshiners. Well, they shouldn't be aggressive. Hello, moonshiners. I make sure the mix of alcohol is right. Baka, baka, baka. Okay. We sell only the highest quality liquor. You interested? Yeah, sure, show me what you got. You see rot gut, a very strong liquor or cleaning fu fluid. You decide. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, I would consider selling you stuff, but you haven't really got that much money. You've got 11 on you. Okay. Now, arrive at Ghost Farm. Hang on, is it down or up? I think it's up. Yeah, there we are. Let's quickly talk to them again and see if they can give me any more information about the whereabouts. Because maybe I'm misremembering it. Maybe it wasn't northwest. Maybe it was south. End of sentence. Oh, it's robbing time. Isn't that cool? They forgot to leave anyone in here guarding all of their most precious things. Their most precious irradiated apples are now all mine. You can't stop me from taking everything. I'll take this. I don't even know what it is. A small, dusty box of some sort. That's the item description for it. Really? I'm gonna sell all of this back to you as well. Okay. I can't imagine there's anything bunkered on this wall. Just for design's sake, so... Stuff. Nice, I'll check out the stuff. Nice. Ropes and flares. Flares actually sell for a fair bit. Looks like they're cultivating mole rats down here. Or domesticating them, rather. Probably no reason for me to check any of those. Oh. <sighs> Ooh, this looks like an area I could rob very efficiently from. Where is everyone down here, though? Like, they're not even in their rooms. Hang on. 
Did they all leave? Oh, hang on. Is it nighttime? Are they all upstairs farming? Oh, shit. I can take all of this ammo as well. Hang on. Let's check out the pit boy. No, it's... It's midday. They can't be upstairs farming. It's got the sun. What's... Fuzzy painting. Image of a singer. Obviously very old. The image has a felt coating that is still in very good condition. That is gotta be... That has to 100% be a picture of someone from the development team that they decided to just sneak into the game. It might also be a quest item, but... What you be needing? Okay, I'm gonna trade with you, and you're gonna hold a lot of shit for me. Hold all the knives, and the throwing knife. Firewood. The firewood weighs 10, and it does nothing. Okay, there you go. Those are all yours now. If you try and take out that firewood and fight someone with it, I swear to God, I will kick your ass to kingdom come. Okay, now I can take the healing powders, because they're relatively light as far as I'm aware. Okay. Nothing over here. I'm very interested again if this ice chest up here. What? I cannot believe that there's no one here. Like, is this bugged? Is this a glitch? Those are the questions, unfortunately, that you sometimes have to ask yourself when you're playing this game. Is this... supposed to be like this? Okay. Well, let's check out the ice chest. Get some more food that I'm never gonna eat. I'll sell it all, though. As soon as I can find someone to buy it. If I go up here and they say, Ah, oh, you have all of our stolen items, how dare you? I'm gonna be pretty annoyed. Ooh, water pump. You cannot get there. What do you mean I can't get there? Water pump. I cannot get there. Water pump! I'm standing next to it though. Water pump! Gosh. Hang on, what? I can't move forward. It's just blackness that I can't go into. Interesting. Is- is that- that has to be water, right? Like an underground pool? Where is everyone? Alright, I'm very confused by the lack of people. The mole rats are here, so... I have to assume the mole rats would spawn at the same time as NPCs. That's it, we're going upstairs. Something shifty is going on here. I don't like it. They're not out here in the farm, which makes a lot of sense because they shouldn't be. Hmm. Are they not what they've said they are? Fuck, all the... All the bodies are gone. What? Okay, something must have spawned incorrectly. There's no blood, there's no bodies, there's... Nothing. I've got to check on MODOK. What if they just raided MODOK? My worst fears realize they actually are evil. And they came and killed fucking Oh, no, this is where I killed all the wild dogs. No, let's not go to the slaughterhouse first. Let's go to someone who might know what's going on in town. This guy in here. I'm glad to see their town is no longer covered in the goo that I exploded from there. No? Just, they're all gone. What? Are you gonna ask me to go find him again? We killed everyone, even the children. I took too long. I took too long to complete the quest. 
That has to be what it was. I must have gone to Vault City and they went in and slaughtered everyone. Well, my bad. Just a casual, pretty much genocide that's my fault right there. Whoops. <laughs> I actually feel bad about that. Like, there's not many moral decisions in games that make me feel bad, but that wasn't even that wasn't even a moral decision. I just did a different mission and didn't have time to basically save that whole community. Whoops. Okay. That's a quest failed right there. Okay, so we've entered the community of Redding. ka -ching. Ooh, let's talk to you. This man looks as though he lives here. Been in Redding long? No, literally seconds. Escorties, aces, and city hall. Yeah, escorty was correct. Okay. A uh, gambling hall, of course. Man, I don't feel so great. A burly looking guard checking you out. Wink. Yeah. I know you like what you see. It's the long hair, isn't it? Okay. Let's talk to a short man with jet black hair and a lot nice smile. Hello there, welcome to the fine city of Reading, and welcome to my casino. Everyone's an ace here at Escorties. I'm Escorty, proprietor and mayor of this fine town. Okay, have you heard anything about a Garden of Eden creation kit? A Garden of Eden creation kit? I think they made Vault City out of one of those. Oh, okay, so Vault City's not going to have one. All of the vaults were supposed to have one, but there sure ain't one around here nowheres. Oh well, let me ask you something else, Mayor. Is there any work in here in Reading? Well, there's the sheriff, and then the mine owners are looking for someone to retrieve some kind of part for one of their machines. What about the sheriff? I understand that Sheriff Earl Marion is looking for someone to fill in for him until his bum leg heals up a fetch. Okay, I can probably just heal his leg though. You might go talk to him. His office is just south of here across the street. Thanks for the tip. Let me ask you about something else. Hang on, wait. Hey, tell me about the mine owners. I don't know too much about it, but you should probably go talk to Dangerous Dan McGrew at the Morningstar Mine, or Marge Labarge at the C Coco Weef Mine. They're both north of the downtown area here, just across from the graveyard. Well, maybe I should dig up a graveyard again. Uh, tell me what's going on in town. Lately, our gold shipments have started to slow down because the miners are spending too much time flying high on jet. Hmm, that's interesting. What do you do here? I run the casino, and I help to run things in town, too. I keep track of things like deeds and such. Deeds? Deeds to what? All kind of private property. Why, now I have a Jim Dandy of a deed for sale. What's that? It's the deed to the White Great Wanamingo Mine, just outside of town. I can sell it to you for only a thousand, too. Special offer, just because you're... Just your luck to hit me on a generous day like this. What's the catch, Mayor? No catch, no catch at all. You just have to evict some squatters that have taken up residence there. No hardship at all for a rugged customer like yourself. I can tell you more if you'd like. Okay, I'll buy it. Tell me more. Well, there are some dang critters in there that need to be killed before anyone will work the mine. If in your willy, if in you were to buy the deed and then kill off all the critters infesting it, I'd be happy to buy the deed back off at you, back off you for a nice profit. A profit? How much of a profit? Heck, more than double. I figure that's least worth that. Sorry, I figure that's the least that your time's worth to you. I couldn't afford to pay more than that. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done in the mine before I can start to turn a profit with it. Sounds good to me. How much was that again? A thousand. I'd like to buy the deed, but I don't have enough money for it right now. Let me ask you about something else. Okay. That's it. Seems like a nice guy, actually. I uh, don't really want to rob from him right now. There is a manhole there. Can I talk to the... Keep things nice and frosty. Sleazy cash tender. I kind of want to go down there. Hmm. Scruffy looking man with a large beard. Ooh, let's talk. Howdy. My name's Askabaska Dick. <laughs> Most people just call me Dick. Of course, there's some that call me Athabasca. Mostly they just call me Dick, though. Dick, what do you do here? I work a spell here and there, the morning star. You could always use experience help. Okay, let me ask you something else then. Hey, Dick, what's going on in town lately? Same thing, mostly. 
All my miners, all of us miners working just enough to get our next flight on jet. Jet? What's jet? I know what jet is, it's a drug, but what's jet? Jet's a little something from New Reno. I just take it to smooth out the rough edges. Let me ask you something else. Hear any r interesting rumors? Well, not much except about them gold dang Wallamingos. Want to Mongols? What the hell is that? You telling me you ain't never heard of Wanamingos? Uh, well, um, sure I've heard of Wanamingos. Let me tell you about something else. No, I've never heard about Wana whatchamacallits and I don't have any time to waste on your fairy tale now. No, never heard anything about that. Tell me about them now. Well, some say they were here before the A-bombs, H-bombs, and all what else hit. Others say they were Gene et Tickally in nerd as weapons. And there's some what says they're from a whole different planet. What are they? Who cares what they come from? Just tell me what they are. Well, I don't rightly know what they are exactly. But I can tell you this. They shut down the Wanamingo mine just west of town a few years back. The Wanamingo mine... Was the, greatest, was the richest strike here in these parts and no one will go back to it. I can buy it? Hmm... But if someone does clear the place out, well, that'd be a... That'd be a Brahmin of a different color. Okay, whole different situation. Hell, you could... You wouldn't even have to kill all of them. What do you mean? Well, there's some stuff that... Owners of the Morningstar and Cocoa Weef Mines would pay a lot for. What kind of stuff? Well, you see... Mines used to be dug out by big machines. Hell, those machines were... Built to last. Both mines got big diggers. Anyway, the money question, the dang little control tips weren't so tough. Ah, interesting. So I get to decide which mine gets the chip. The more parts there are, the more there is to break. Thanks for the info. Not sure what you're getting at here. I know what he's getting at, but I want more information. Heck, if they had a working machine and the other mine doesn't, they'd shut the other mine down or buy them out in no time. Too bad nobody knows where to get one of those chips, though. Squeegee out your damn ears. Okay. Hmm, maybe so. Tell me about those Wonto Mangles. Here's a god truth. I know someone who saw one close up. It was time passes with huge fangs that it used to... More time passes. Huh? Your head snaps up? <laughs> so now you know. Okay. Those that work the mine blew dynamite stores and escaped rather than face the one I'm moving, guys. Okay. So it's just west of town. I think I've heard everything else about Wanamingos and interesting rumors. Okay, that's about it that I want to know from him. All right, I'm going to talk to this guy about the Wanamingos now. You didn't tell me about them. Can I get your... Can I get the... Can I get the deed a lot cheaper now that I know that he's basically kind of trying to cheat me. Deeds to what? What's that? What's the catch? Okay, I'll buy it, tell me more. Critters, what kind of critters? All fired weird critter with nasty teeth and suckers or some such. Not too intelligent, but nasty up close. And you want me to get rid of them? Yeah, how much do I stand to make on my thousand? Sounds good to me. Okay, fine. It looks like I can't say, yo, you didn't tell me about one Amingos being in there. It's crazy shit. So there's the Malamute Saloon. This man looks as though he lives here. There's a hospital over here. Painless Doc Johnson. Okay, let's see if he's got possibly an auto doc that we can fix up or a problem that we can help. You worthless lump of flesh. Hmm. Rat try real hard. Do you want to talk now? I don't know why I put up with your incompetence. Continue. Rat real sorry, rat act better. You just better or you find yourself out on the street again. Okay. Looks like you came to the right person. I'm Doc Johnson, I can patch you up. I don't need healing as much as I need some answers, some questions. What would you like to know? I hear that Redding's been having a problem with it exports lately. We sure do. Too much jet and not enough work. But where'd you hear about that? McClure in Vault City. Just heard a rumor as well. 
I'm gonna say rumor. Oh, and what do the rumors say? That mine production is way down and gold prices are way up. That's true. The miners here are getting all high on jet. Rather than working, the exports are down and prices are up. The situation can't last. Let me ask you something else. Why do they call you painless, Doc Johnson? Because my patients usually pass out before they get to screaming too much. It's kind of a joke. Well, that's comforting. <laughs> I think I need to be going. I just remembered an important, important appointment I have. Uh, somewhere. Oh, goodbye, Doc. Just wondering what's going on here in town. Ratings gold production will come to a halt if there's so much jet. And Reno doesn't seem to mind. Reno selling the jet. They're habit forming. And they're basically taking control of the area doing it. So if you don't want Reno to control Redding, just who do you want in charge here? I just want us to have a master that's going to do the best job for Redding. And who do you think that is? It's with Vault City controlling things here. Interesting. Because they handle Vault City in just a humane manner, they would do the same for Redding. Vault, Citizen take Vault City takes care of their citizens alright, but they treat non-citizens like dirt. That's nonsense. Vault City does extend special provision privileges to citizens, but only because they're better qualified to enjoy those things than brutish non-citizens. Besides, everyone can qualify for the Vault City citizenship if they pass the test. I'm not sure how the people in Redding would react to rule by Vault City. They'll realize the benefits soon enough. I'm sure that they'll welcome Vault City's administration with open arms, uh, eventually. So I can't just tell him, yo, the test is actually straight up bullshit. Let me ask you about something other than politics. What's going on in town? Where does the jet come from? Do, do, do. Shipped here by the Mordino family. Okay, that's some new information for us, the Mordino family. And then I process it in user ampules and end up sending it all right here. You must make a tidy profit out of that. I fill the user ampules with jet and then distribute it purely as a service to the people of Reading. I don't make a profit doing it. If I didn't do it, some other quack would be preparing the chem germ-encrusted, rusty equipment. I'd never get this population disease-free after that. What a nice guy you are. I don't know if he's actually nice. I might be able to trade you some supplies. Okay, let's see what you've got to trade. Okay, Doc. Okay, so he does have a lot of money. So let's start just fucking offloading things, left, right, and center. Don't want a club. Don't want all this beer. Don't want iguanas on sticks. Don't want a small dusty box of some sort. I don't want Nuka-Cola. <clears throat> it's pretty much the list of all the things I don't want. So let's start taking the things I do want. Cannot afford Mentats. Cannot afford even one stim pack. Antidote? Okay, with Antidote, I can take nine out of the equation. Whoa, six. Sorry, six more out of the equation, and then I can get it. Cool. Okay, that's a good trade. I thought so myself. Sure did. Hmm. Let's talk to Rat. Rat's so stupid. Rat and... Don't put Rat out. Rat says not to say anything. Doctor says don't talk to Rat. Can I help him? Can I, like, first aid him? I kind of want to go back here and nick all their stuff. Alright. Well, before I nick anything, it's always a good idea to save. Everything is mine now. That's a very expensive steam pack that I'm stealing at the moment. Ooh, first aid book. Excellent. I can read that and get my first aid skill up a little. Okay. Anything down here? No. There's the possibility that I get caught for this one. Ha! Huh, evidently not. Whee! We got away scot-free. So we're on 26 first aid before, and now read, 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 read. Character. Oh shit, I should have saved it, saved it until I got the comprehension skill. Don't eat in front of me, I don't like the nasty crunching. Uh, 33. Okay, so we've gained like 7. Cool, cool, cool. 
It's also a sheriff that we should talk to. Probably this building, I'd have to guess. I am Madame Mojeska. What do you want from me? Looks as though a lot of people here are chem users. What's been going on in town lately? Most of the rabble are just working to get enough jet. They need something to keep their minds off this place. Just what jet? What's jet? It's a wonderful drug that takes the edge off the miserable existence, darling. What do you do here, madam? I used to run part of Lou's operation at the Malamute Saloon, but I had a falling out, so I quit. Any interesting rumors, madam? All I talk about are politics. They seem to be a big stir. Have you seen a greased Brahmin contest? No, never heard of anything like that. Tell me about them. What you do is grease up a Brahmin calf, and then everyone in the tra- <laughs> Okay, I have actually heard about these in real life. And then everyone in the crowd tries to catch the calf. If you can't catch it yourself, you make damn sure nobody else can either. I don't see that what that has to do with politics. It's a golden one at that. Redding is the greased Brahmin. A golden one at that. Uh, New Reno, the NCR, and Vault City are all trying to catch him. That's actually interesting. What do you mean? We mine gold and ship it to New Reno, the NCR, and Vault City in exchange for goods. Each of those places would like to have the gold and the trade all to themselves. Why don't they just attack you? Who wouldn't? We're big enough and far enough away to make a takeover expensive as well as dangerous. Much more efficient to have us join willingly. The three powers that are trying to get Redding to choose which side to ally themselves with, they've all got a powerful allies in town. Soon, Redding's going to have to make a choice. The grease on the Brahmin calf is wearing a bit thin. Okay. Why are people going to get hurt when one of the pe powers takes control? People are going to get hurt because this is the kind of change that don't come easy. The only way to avoid that is if we decide to go with one of the powers and make a quick alliance before the others catch on. What do you think will happen? I think folks will follow Mayor Escorty's lead. He's a crook, but people trust that. Oh, okay, so he's an honest crook. He'll go with whoever's strongest. You see, whatever's good for Escorty is also going to be good for Redding. I think he hasn't figured out who's close to being on top yet, but he's got to choose soon. Hmm. Why do they call you Madame Majeska? I used to work in the Malamute Saloon as part of that job. People used to call me Madame. The name just stuck. Oh, okay, so you were basically like the owner and proprietor of the brothel, I imagine? Madam is usually applied to the matriarchs of those areas, I assume. Uh, where do you work now? Nothing. Cool, I'll just ask this one and go for... Let me ask you something else. Okay, never mind, I can end my conversation there. Okay, I'm gonna save the game again. Immediately with Nick 2. Because there is a chest here. <clears throat> And she doesn't mind if I steal from it. Which is exactly the reaction I was hoping for. Very few people seem to mind when I steal their stuff. It's beautiful. Ooh, you don't even care if I go to this shelf, do you? No, you don't. I'll take those apples. Lovely. Let's see what's here on the lower area. Nothing really. Excellent. Now let's go talk to the sheriff with all of our stolen goods. Next episode in Fallout 2. My name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Fallout 2. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. If you have, please click like. It does help me get my content out to new people. There's also a playlist in the description down below with all my content on Fallout 1 and 2, past, present, and future. And hopefully, we'll see you next time.